Now, I'm going to casually mention to you something that's very scary indeed and tell you what the alien agenda is. And it's going to sound very familiar. The alien agenda is the complete takeover of this planet, the killing off of five, six, to seven eighths of the world's population by the year 2029. The U.S. military has known about this for 45 years. They've told no one. As far as I know, I'm the only person standing before a crowd talking about the alien agenda, secretively. Okay. They, back in 1954, I'll give you a quick overview. There was the created 1954 treaty where Eisenhower signed a pact with the known alien species of the time. There were three at the time. And said that we're going to deal in high technology, but you can take a few head of cattle and a few human beings and you can experiment on them. It's unthinkable. It's stuff straight out of the Nazi death camps, and I'm kidding you not, it's plain BS. And it's got to stop. Now, the Great in 1954 Treaty would have been violated. After, after the great firefight, the alien-human war, I am the only living survivor talking about it worldwide at all. The only one. The other two are in nursing homes in Canada, and the Canadian government refuses to allow any U.S. people, including myself, to talk to them because they are afraid of kidnap. Probably the reason I got shot to pieces and 11 attempts on my life is I am a direct threat to the entire system. The New World Order, the alien agenda is one in the same. It's world takeover and the decimation of the population of this planet. Now I'm going to tell you something a little bit different about the alien species. The bad news ones, there are nine races of alien populations. To look at a human being as a bag of food. They're not cannibals. They don't eat the flesh and the bones and all that kind of stuff. They use the glandular secretions of animals and human beings as a mixture of the vitamins for their food. They get high off of our adrenal gland substances called adrenal chrome. It's, a, it's something like uh, cocaine to them. Now, what can we do about it? We can, right now, if we do nothing, we can do nothing about it, and it will continue to go on. Basically, we'll be led in the dark, and you'll keep seeing more and more people disappear. Right now, there's 100,000 children totally unaccountable through FBI archives, cannot be traced anywhere. They haven't been murdered. Nobody's ever seen them. I think they're hauled underneath in some of these bases, and they are summarily done away with, and they are literally eaten. Now, that is a scary thing indeed. Some, and I'm not asking you to believe me in total. I am asking you to seriously do enough homework that you can go out in through the public record, through the congressional records, find out who's voting for what, and go from there. Do your own program. Do your own agenda. And do your own speaking out. And if enough of us do this, there is some saving grace. However, we don't have a whole heap of time left. Technological governments on this planet are raping the planet. We're, we're going to run out of everything that we need. We're going to pollute everything in sight in the better part of 20 years. Now I know you've heard some poppycock stories. Oh, we're going to run out of coal. We're going to run out of gasoline. We're going to run out of this, that, and the other. And 25 and 30 year, years ago, you heard all this hogwash. Well, don't believe it. Basically, anything you read in a paper, you should take with a grain of salt. Start reading and what is missing out of the article. Ask yourself, what's missing in this article that I should know? Maybe that's the truth. Fill in the blank spots, so to speak. White copy is only one leg of the triangle. There are two other legs, two other pieces of the puzzle. What we have to do as a group of people, concerned people at that, 
and this group seems to be that, oh, quite that, is we have to assert ourselves in a way that we've never thought possible. Now, I'm not asking you to do what I'm doing. I'm telling you, what I'm doing is very important. Every one of you is equally important. You wouldn't be in this room otherwise. You know, all these other people out here that didn't come to the lecture, they really don't want to hear it. I, uh, yesterday I heard a fellow who says, I'm sorry to say uh, I belong to uh, this military organization, that military, militant organization. I, I don't believe in the alien question. I, 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 there's no proof of it. And so I show him an artifact and he says, well, that's nice, and, but that could be lead. Well, I happen to know this isn't lead. It scratches diamond and it's harder than that. Here's a sapphire that I found when we blew a mountain apart, all these sapphires fell out. <coughs> and sapphire has a hardness of nine right next to the hardness of a diamond. This thing scratches the heck out of it. It's tear it apart. I'll tell you something. This technology is fine and dandy. At the risk of the human race, at the risk of one human life, it is totally worthless. We have to the one beautiful thing about the United States of America is we value a human person's life. The minute we lose it, we are dead meat. It is, it is tantamount that we get back to constitutional law and for our officials not to believe in it or obey it. First of all, for a politician to say, well, I believe in the U.S. Constitution, but I believe in gun control. It can't be, you can't be a master of two houses. It don't work. What you must do is tell that politician, you are disobeying the Constitution of the United States that you're sworn to uphold and you are in treason territory. Think about what you have said. You have 30 days to make that apology. If you do not make that apology, you are a treasonous individual and should be prosecuted. Now, there's a few other things I want to run by you, and they're kind of in rapid-fire order. Area 51 is only one base, one of the 131 bases. Of these 131 bases, I call Area 51 a mega base. It's got more than one base in it. It's Tonopah Test Range, Area 51, S2, S4, Groom Lake, and a host of others. Now, these mega bases are gobbling up our gross national product. Right now we're spending 28% of the gross national product on building underground bases solely. That doesn't count for the defense budget. That doesn't count for the spare parts budget. It doesn't count for any of that at all. And the black budget is dead, dead wrong. It sidesteps the United States Congress and its constitution of its people and says, you're a bunch of morons, you don't need to know. Well, a need-to-know basis is an executive order written during the Eisenhower era right after the created 1954 treaty and is treasonous and illegal in this country and should be overturned and abolished. Now, I believe in military preparedness. I believe in military secrecy to some extent. There's always going to be spies out there, and there are always going to be people that want, want your hunk of territory, your house, or your ground, maybe even a country like that. Yeah. Most of us remember what this crazy person in Russia, Jernovsky, had to say, we want Alaska back. Well, baby, you're not going to get Alaska back without a horrendous fight. Alaska is my land. I was born here in these United States. I have risked my life and limb for these United States, and I love my United States more than my life. 
and I will defend these United States against all foreign powers, foreign and domestic. Now, every one of you in this room are pro have probably, to some extent, minor or major, done just that. And that is what this country needs. Patriots you are, patriots you are becoming, patriots and constitution builders you must continue to be. Now, all this alien thing is fine, except for...